everyone, it's September 3rd at the Wild Edibles Warehouse and we got some great specials to show you today, um, including some really special salmons to show you. Uh, first we're going to start with some flatfish. Um, these are the three main flatfish that we carry here at the Wild Edibles Warehouse. Um, we have the biggest one of them all, the halibut. Uh, these guys are caught in um, Alaska, they're also caught on the East Coast, um, generally by long lines or ocean trawl. Um, these are the biggest of the flatfish in the ocean. Um, they have very nice, thick, dense white meat and a very good yield in terms of flatfish. Um, another great flatfish that we have coming from Spain actually right now are these turbos. Now, these are a little different colored than your regular turbos. I'm sure most of you are used to the darker green ones. Um, I assure you there's no difference between this one and that one. The only difference is the color of the tank that they live in. Um, the lighter the tank, the lighter the skin color as they try to um, camouflage themselves um, by changing the color of their skin. Um, next, we have our Long Island Fluke. Now these are known as doormats because they can grow as large as a doormat. Um, this guy is probably about eight pounds. They can grow as small as two and as big as you know 15 pounds. So these guys can get really big. As you can see right here, um, their mouths can grow really large compared to different soles that have very small mouths. This is what allows them to grow this big. Um, and the yield on all three of these fishes are actually the best out of all the flat fishes as well. Um, now I want to show you guys something really, really fascinating to me. Um, everyone has their own preference on salmon. Some people like their Aura King salmon, some people like their Scottish farm salmon. Well, a lot of times I think to myself, why? You know, what's the difference? Well, today we can actually see what the difference are in these salmons. We're going to start off first with the salmon we're all most used to, and that is our farm Atlantic salmon. These are farm raised in Canada, or up in Alaska. Um, these are just your regular Atlantic stock. Um, these are different from your wild salmon stocks, so whenever these guys get out of their pens and get out in the wild, they can actually cause quite a bit of damage to the wild stocks. So, you know, it's your regular salmon, but if you can, try to get your wild or your more sustainably farmed salmon when you can. Um, but I need to stand as a farm of this guy. This is a Scottish farm raised salmon. Um, the brand we usually carry is the Wester Ross. Highland Blue is actually one of their um, side brands that they use. Um, now, these guys are sustainably farmed in Scotland using as little antibiotics and chemicals as possible. Um, and the feed is more stringently uh, controlled of. So the salmons have a higher fat content and just a better life altogether. Um, this is our Scottish farm salmon. Now this is not an organic salmon like the last one. Um, when I mean organic, I don't mean no chemicals were used. It's just, you know, when these grow up in the ocean, you can't really control all the water content. So their feed is actually what is organic. Um, but this is just your regular Scottish salmon, which is a little less expensive than the organic. Now, this next salmon is one of our premium farm salmon. Now, this guy is a farm Oregon salmon coming from New Zealand. Now, these guys, their feed is an or no antibiotics, no chemicals used whatsoever, and these are probably amongst the best of the farming practices used. Um, you can tell just by the look of this fish how nice and beautiful it's going to be. Um, next, we have another salmon that's made its way onto the market that's a little more popular nowadays. Um, this right here is your Faroe Island salmon. Now, they still use an Atlantic stock, however, just like the Oricane farm, um, they use no chemicals whatsoever, no antibiotics. Now the place where it's farmed has a lot of um, water flow, so the water gets replenished constantly. That's why it's such high quality and it can be raised in such nice surroundings. <laughs> Another one I want to show you is this ocean trout. I know this isn't 
one of the salmons, but I just want to show you what it can be when, you know, fish are fed in farms. I mean, these guys usually in the wild are about eight pounds, but this guy is probably closer to about 15 pounds. You can see here how fatty. I mean, this just looks like a fat fish. <laughs> um, this would be great cured or uh, grilled, especially grilled. Um, now, last, I wanted to show you guys the wild salmons. Now, the season is winding down on these guys, so, you know, get them while you can. This right here is the sockeye salmon. And as you guys have seen before, it has that nice reddish meat. And the reason for this is that the sockeyes actually eat a lot more krill uh, versus squid that the larger salmon eat. So they get more beta carotene, and that's what causes that darker red color. Um, and lastly, these are the wild troll cod king salmon. Again, the season is winding down. These are troll cod, and uh, because, the winding, yeah, because of the season winding down, they are getting smaller. So this guy's probably about six to eight pounds. So they're gonna be a little more affordable for you. But the wild option is always the best way to go as they're sustainably caught and it's good for the environment. So I hope you learned something about salmons today. Thanks for joining us at Wild Animals Warehouse.